morning. Uh, it's a nice gray morning after some rain yesterday and maybe overnight. Uh, and I am hoping that this video works today, whereas on Tuesday, <laughs> something was going on. So today I just want to reiterate some things I was talking about earlier this week and uh, see what today has in store for us. But uh, let's start out with a prayer and then we'll get right into it. Let us pray. God, thank you for today and thank you for the birds of the air and the rain from yesterday and all the different ways that we experience your creation around us. Help us to go out into the world, into your creation today to care for it, and to care for each other, and to serve you in different ways. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So today I want to uh, revisit some things that I was talking about on Tuesday when the video wasn't quite working. <laughs> uh, but uh, something I've just really been thinking about this week is trying to find beauty in some of the mundane parts of our lives. I mentioned that I was driving a lot recently and sometimes when I drive I get tunnel vision I look straight ahead I, I don't pay attention to the world around me uh, but this past trip I was driving and I drove by a field of, of peach trees and uh, instead of just dead brown leaves and limbs and you know low to the ground little trees they had just started to bloom and they had little purple or pinkish blossoms on them uh, and it was really pretty <laughs> it distracted me i had to keep my eyes on the road a little bit but um, they were winding through some of these peach trees and it was really pretty and it struck me and it took me by surprise a little bit because like i said i when i drive i get focused on what's ahead of me sometimes and i don't pay attention to what's around me and i think that's a good thoughts or theme to have during Lent to, to try to pay attention to the things around us a little more than we usually do. Maybe that's why we use some of the language of slowing down during Lent or maybe trying to be more attentive to God or making more room for God and in, in our faith in our lives um, because we're able to see things or do things or notice things that we don't always notice. Uh, so I, I think that's a an important thing to take with us during the season of Lent. A couple of things that have shown up this week uh, that have reminded me of that. We have a new table and chair set on the patio outside the student lounge. Uh, the concrete one that had been there for so many years, probably decades, <laughs> um, was no longer stable and it had broken up a little bit. So we took care of it in the fall sometime and now we have a new wooden table and, and uh, little lounge chair set out there. And it's allowing us on a nice day to sit outside maybe a little more. And we can see people pass by instead of people that just park in the lot and then go to class and then might show up in the lounge later. We get to have little chats here and there. We might um, smell the flowers. We see the daffodils over on the side that Pastor John has planted up those stairs next to the building that has spilled the beans and that charcuterie place in it. Uh, we get to notice a few more things if we're sitting outside. So it's a new thing and it's good for us and it. Uh, also might allow us to spend a little more time together, um, especially when the weather is nice. We might sit out there more and chat and get to know each other even better than we already do. So those are good things. Uh, and another thing I was thinking about was last night at the midweek Linton supper and then service. We uh, often only see each other on Sunday morning, sometimes at, at a church, unless you're involved in several different small groups here and there, or if you're on site spreading mulch like so many people were on Wednesday, or if you come to Bible study or something like that. But most of us probably only see each other on, on Sunday mornings. And so whenever we have a chance to gather outside of that, it's, it's good for us. So to gather on a Thursday night, right before a Linton worship service, we started eating at 545 and I think worship was done by 730. I didn't quite look at my, my watch, but um, I think that, you know, the whole thing in and of itself is less than two and a half hours, but we spend so much time together. You might get to see some faces that you don't usually see. Uh, you sit with somebody new at the table every week, something like that. So that was a, a good practice during Lent to spend more time together and maybe figure out what our faith is doing in our lives, uh, not just on our own while we give up something or we try to do something every day, but also in community with one another. That's why we show up at church. So those are some things I was thinking about today. If you uh, have some opportunities to notice beauty in the mundane around you. I think that's something I want to think about, especially 
during Lent. Uh, if you have any comments about that, if you have any comments about the service last night, if you have any comments about something you've noticed this week, I look forward to any of those things. But Lent is a time that we can grow closer to God or try to make room for God in our lives so that we can notice what God is up to a little bit more easily and regularly. So hope everybody has a good day and a good weekend. I will uh, end us with a prayer and then we'll hop into the world to see what uh, God has in store for us this weekend. But let's pray and then we'll go about our day. Let us pray. God, again, thank you for the signs of your creation around us and help us to take the time, use our energy to rest a bit so that we can notice all the beauty of your creation around us and the things that you are up to in our lives and in our world. Uh, inspire us by your spirit to get involved, to take care of the birds in the air and the, the trees in the ground. Uh, inspire us to care for our neighbors in different ways, to pay attention to the needs of others. And inspire us to make time for you, especially during the season of Lent when we focus a little more deeply on our humanity, our mortality, but your strength and love. Uh, help us to grow closer to you and to get closer to the things that you have called us to do in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks, y'all. Have a great day uh, and a good weekend. God bless.